Hey, it's Rhonda, and I am doing an installation of my video blog, and tonight I am reading poems to you from my book. It's called Red Clay Legacy. It's a book of poetry, and it's a poetic poetic memoir about my life. You can actually get it on my website, and that's RhondaWelsh.com. And uh, when I started to do video blogging, what was it, three days ago, I said that I was going to do at least 21 days straight. And um, I was sitting around tonight, and I thought about it, and I'm like, snap, I haven't done my video blog. And so I thought that instead of taking you to talk to people about what the world needs to know or telling you a tip about travel, I'd tell you what I think the world needs to know tonight, and I think the world needs to know some poetry. So um, once again, I'm reading from Rick Clay Legacy. And the first piece that I am going to read to you tonight is called Summer of Cold Train. I dreamt I was married to Gordon Park. It was the summer of coal train. Warm rain fell every afternoon right around four. I was more enthralled with myself than I was with him. Gordon resented me for it. Richard Roundtree was a frequent visitor, and Gordon always wanted to photograph me in big Parisian hats as if we were strolling down the Champs-Élysées. This is strange because we lived in Black Bottom before the Davidson sliced the races in half. And Gordon advocated freedom and diversity and artistic expression, but he gloried in keeping me bound. I was wrapped around his beautiful finger, and I liked it. During the summer of cold train and warm rain, I dreamt I was married to Gordon. Hey, look, it's a sneak peek inside the book. And uh, this next poem is one that typically when I perform mm -hmm. and I do reading, uh, what was that? Okay, these are like live sounds as I'm reading poetry. Uh, I hope those are fireworks. But anyway, um, but anyways, when I when I typically <laughs> read this book, <laughs> really hope those are fireworks. Oh, snap, really? Yeah, those guys be fireworks. Yeah, those are fireworks. Anyway, um, <laughs> this one is called Marriage Poem, number 28, and um, it's often called The Crush Poem by people when they ask me to read it. I want you to have a crush on me. Write my name on the back of your notebook. Check this box for yes, forget no, and maybe call me your baby, your darling, your sweetheart, your boo. I want you to have a crush on me. You should ache for my eccentricity. Notice how good I look in high heels. Melt when the slit in my skirt flashes the mole on my left thigh. I want you to cry when you visualize the crevice beneath the nape of my neck. I want to be your Juliet. I want to get the best that you got. I want to be your hot. See the fire in your belly, the spring in your step, the hands of your clock, your hickory dickory dock. I want to be your nursery rhyme. Take you back to childhood places before rat races and urban spaces got you down. Before politicians started to clown and left the country in recession. Before the economic collapse. See, I want to be your relapse. Have you snorting and smoking and drinking thoughts to me? I want to be nectar to your honeybee. I want you to have a crush on me. Feel a rush when I just be doing simple things like folding the clothes or brushing my hair. I want to know the weight of your stare. When I walk out of the room, feel your eyes on my behind. I want to be the kind to make you blush. Bring a hush to the worries clouding your brain. I want to be the one who makes it rain. Forget the clogged drains and mortgage payments. Disregard troubles and relatives' arraignments. I want you to remember the old you and me. Take you back to the feral and free. I want you to have a crush on me. Rhonda Welsh, this is my video blog for tonight, and I am reading from Red Clay Legacy. Have a great evening.